aren't able to make it this morning that are new, they can tune into it to hear from you. Um, all of you are so special. Christmas is so close. The holidays are here. Hanukkah is here. It just doesn't it blow your minds that we only have one more weekend left before all the holiday season that none of us can be with our families with. But in a more optimistic tone, this organization really cares. And I want everyone to just hear the wonderful things that our speakers are going to talk about with you today, with us today. First of all, we always do introductions. So I'd like to just go around the room. I'll call on you as I see you. Just please give your name and the name of your company. Let me get a full gallery view there. All right. How do you pronounce J-A-Y-A? J-A-Y-A? Jaya? You got it, Jaya. <laughs> Jaya. Yes. Uh, so Jaya, I would you give us your name and Sure, my name is Jaya. I'm the president of the Callisto Enterprises. We are basically a software solution company. Um, you know, you just name it, web development, uh, mobile development, workflow, business intelligence. So everything okay. going with technology uh, and making it savvy, like text messages, uh, having that phone connection. So everything technologically, uh, we we solve that. We go give those solutions. So yeah, it's an integrated uh, software. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, Debbie Wagner. Good morning. I'm Debbie Wagner, Vice President of Membership, and I own the Graphic Edge here in Thanks. lovely Doylestown. Welcome, Katie Iorio. Good morning, everyone. Katie Iorio, Dale Carnegie. And I work with great folks like the Chamber and other organizations to develop people align with their um, for, you know, new year here. So our goals, what are our, our development goals for our leadership, presentation, sales, et cetera. So happy to be here. Thank you, Val. Thank you. Brad Sanders. Hi, Brad Sanders, from Chief Marketing Officer at the Chamber. Judy, it's so nice to see you in person. Good to see you again. Judy Arnold, I am with a marketing consulting and creative agency called Next. All right, let's see. Judy Frackenring, I can't hear you. There we go, sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you. It's great to be here. Judy Brackenrig, I am with Sage Life Senior Living. Just started with the company. I live in Doylestown. I just moved back here after being in Connecticut for five years. And um, Sage Life, we are actually constructing a new senior community in Ambler. It is going to take a year to complete. It is going to be state of the art independent, some memory care and some assisted living. So I'm doing the marketing for that community. Welcome to the chamber. Thank you. Eric Jacobson. Good morning, Vale. Um, by the way, when you look up Christmas in the dictionary, the second entry is Vale's vest. The, <laughs> the second definition. I'm of trying, Christmas. I'm trying. It's <laughs> awesome. It, it's it beautiful. my day. Um, Eric Jacobson with IQ Action. Thank you. Our sponsor, Tom Macklin, would you take this as a chance to introduce yourself, but tell us about CNN. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Macklin. Yes, I work CNN. We are the sponsor of this event. Uh, we do sponsor several things for the chamber and we very much value uh, the chamber as far as our opportunity to meet new people like we're seeing on this uh, call today. I will tell you that Vale and Amanda and Brad all do a great job 
of helping you you. to build your business. And we really appreciate that. Uh, CNN is a local bank. Uh, Actually, it's uh, uh, some it's local for some, but our base is actually in Wellsboro, which if you know where that is, uh, you might be maybe like the uh, Pennsylvania Grand Canyon or something like that. Uh, we are part of a bank that's based up in the north, uh, the north, I guess, middle part of the state. Uh, most of the branches of CNN are up there, but they decided to build a presence in uh, Bucks County and some other places. They're trying to branch out. So uh, recently, CNN uh, became, used to, I used to be with Monument Bank. Uh, they bought us, and then he also bought a bank called Covenant that was in Doylestown. So they're now all part of uh, CNN, and we actually probably have uh, some of the strongest coverage of Doylestown because we have the branch where I uh, usually sit when I'm not in uh, the, the, the library at Font Hill, as I am now. It's lovely so. background, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually in my basement, so I don't want to show you my tool, uh, all my tools in my uh, in, in my at my workbench is what you would see if I didn't have my background. Anyway, uh, we have a branch at 465 North Main, which is kind of across from the Acme Shopping Center, and then we have another one at 60 North, which is on uh, Monument Square. If you know where the Civil War Monument is, uh, we have a branch there, so we have a very good coverage in town. Both places have drive-through, and we are doing drive-through only service. Uh, we have a business checking account, which requires just a $500 minimum balance to avoid service charges. Uh, we have a great suite of uh, business products uh, that you can use online, which uh, seems to be what a lot of people want to do these days. Uh, our online banking is free, our mobile capture is free, uh, so you can take pictures of checks. Uh, we have something called Clicks, Click Switch which allows us to help you move all your bill pays and everything over to us quickly and easily uh, and other things, direct deposits and everything. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, yeah, we, um, uh, we, we're, we're a great little bank. So if you're looking for something local, we would love to talk with you. Again, my name is Tom Macklin. And I work at CNN. Hi, Tom. Thank you so much, Tom, for being our sponsor. It's really great. And we, we love you and your bank. All right, Amanda. Okay. Sorry, I was just going to type in the chat to everyone, so I'll just say it, actually. Welcome, I'm Amanda. I'm the Chief <clears throat> Operating Officer, and you are all welcome to put your contact information in the chat, um, and then, you know, we can download, or you can download the chat at the very end, and then you'll have everybody's contact information. So welcome, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Jim Pitt. Good welcome. morning. <laughs> So good to see you from my benefit advisor. They are our insurer and the person we recommend you touch base with should you need insurance, health insurance. Go for it, Jim. I'm done. You did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? Maybe later. I think I'm getting a chance to be on you your agenda. My benefit advisors, guys. All right. Let's see. Judy Arnold, you say it again. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, with Next, a marketing consulting firm. We do creative Noelle. strategic planning. Thank you. Noelle, great Hello. name for this Thank time. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I'm Noelle, and I am the marketing admin at Sage Rock Marketing Group. Um, and we are a B2B marketing agency, and we do um, specialties in healthcare, technology, industrial, and business services. Thank you. Yeah. Jennifer Jennifer Nelson. Hi, I'm Jennifer Nelson. And yes, I'm starting up a new business called uh, Life Stories. Um, I'm currently teaching, but we'll plan to do that in 2021 or 2022. So um, it's a company that will write people's memoirs. Thank you. Clee. Hi, I'm Kathleen Lee. I work for LifeBack and we provide uh, mental health and substance use outpatient services in Doylestown. It's nice to meet everybody. Thank you. Um, Helen, welcome. Hi. I wish, wish I were in Aruba. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone. So my name is Helen Amelsberg, and I own um, Vacation Crusaders, which is a travel agency in uh, Furlong. 
I've been with the chamber, gosh, I don't know, almost two years now, I think. I, and I love it. It's the best thing ever. And I can't wait for us to get back together in person. Um, so I arrange travel for anywhere in the world. And I've, obviously right now with COVID, there's not much travel going on. But I will tell you that the, uh, the best deals are out there right now because come January, they're going to start going up because the suppliers are anticipating that there's going to be a huge demand now that the vaccine's out. So they're going to start putting up their prices. So if you want to travel, let me know. And I can help Thank make you. it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Next, okay. Jean Colley. Mm -mm. Jean. Jean's trying to figure out. There you go. Go for it, Jean. Jean Collar, Green Eye for Design, um, Advertising, Direct Response, Marketing, Design where your focus is on the message of, uh, so you get your point across. If you need a rebrand, um, contact me. I can help you out. Thank you. Have I missed anybody? If not, Sally. forward. Beg your pardon? Did Sally go? She was here a minute ago. I don't see her on. Okay. When she comes on, we'll have her introduce herself. All right. About our chamber, our vice president of membership, Debbie Wagner. All yours, Debbie. Thank you, Vale. And good morning again to everybody. It's so wonderful to see everyone out on this beautiful, crisp morning. And see the background? This is what's coming. Yay! <laughs> At least, at least some of us are excited, right? <laughs> I love it. Well, <laughs> I'm anxious to see some snow. We haven't had snow in a long time. But anyway, uh, just a little plug. Our Jingle Jam is going to be this Thursday. So please go to the chamber and look at your jingle jam. The silent auction is going on right now and we have lots and lots of great items there. I know Brad's gonna talk about it later. See his background? There are a lot of items for the live auction. So we can't wait. Okay, now back to membership. <laughs> I, I see we have a lot of great new members. Aren't you excited to join this wonderful chamber? Vale brings us the most exciting speakers. It is so wonderful. And now with this new vaccine coming on board, it won't be long before we'll be meeting in person again. I am so looking forward to meeting every one of you in person. We have wonderful committees. And I know Helen, for one, I think she's on almost every single committee. But I am. <laughs> our committees are exciting and the best way to network. So if you want to find out and belong and network, just look them over. Uh, whether it's arts, whether it's economics, whether it's healthcare, we have the right committee for you. So please, that is the best way to belong to the chamber and network. And then also when we have uh, Vale and the committee has done a wonderful um, interaction with our Zoom meetings and being able to connect. And I know we can't network um, in person, but we can network virtually and hopefully uh, that'll work. So when we do meet in person, we can say, I remember you from the Zoom meeting. And then we can meet at that point. But please, if anyone has any questions at all, feel free to email me. I did put my contact in the message in the chat. And I would love to help you out in any way I can. So thank you so much. And I look forward to meeting you in person. I know it's going to happen in 2021. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. 
and a happy, happy, happy new year in 2021. Good riddance, 2020. Bye now. <laughs> new year. I think we all second that one. Yeah. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Tom, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, you, as our sponsor, we just dearly appreciate all that you do. And you, the company does so much for the community at large. So I just want to- Thanks, Vail. We, we do try to really support a lot of things here in uh, Doylestown and Bucks County, but certainly we focus on Doylestown. I put my uh, a background on Fawn Hill because I'm a uh, rainmaker at Mercer and Fawn Hill. And we also have uh, Kelly Sewickley, who's our, C, uh, uh, our chief lending officer, and she's uh, on the board of trustees. I'm on four other boards in the area. Uh, we, we really try to focus on supporting uh, the things going on here in Doylestown. That's really important to CNN. We feel like if, if we can help and make you all successful, then we're gonna be successful. As they say, the, 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 it raises all boats, however it goes. Sorry, I, 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 the, 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 it's not coming to me, but anyway. A rising uh, tide. Hope, that's it, that's what it is. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we really uh, want you all to be successful because then we'll be successful. Whether you bank with us or not, success in Doylestown means everybody does better. So uh, we're hopeful that all you do well. And I will echo Debbie's uh, thoughts that I wish all of you a very happy holiday and really appreciate you being on this call this morning. So thank you. Thank you, Tom. Katie I. Oreo, Dale Carnegie. Welcome, Katie. Thank you, Vale. Um, you can spend a few moments talking about how to, as Deb said, network virtually since we are um, looking to maximize this opportunity. And when we do go slowly back into person, it seems like we're still gonna have a blend. Um, so first of all, Amanda, if you are able to uh, allow me to share my screen, I will do that. And as, as we're waiting for that, um, our first impression when we get on these Zoom meetings is we're seeing everyone's pictures and our names. So um, tip number one is go ahead and hover over your, the top right-hand corner of your picture and there's three dots. And you'll see several people have already done this, but if you haven't, click on those three dots and rename yourself. Um, if, if we are able to do that. Oh yeah, I can only do it on myself, yep. So it'll say rename and just go ahead and put um, either your full name and your company name or um, look at Eric who has his email address, which is also another great way, best practice to do it. But that way we're standing out who, who I am and where I work. So we're making it easy for the other people that we're networking with to know who we are. So you can see Helen and Judy already have that set up. Good job, Noel. Um, and that, you know, so when we log on to a Zoom meeting, make that a best practice. And um, second tip there is also to use the chat box, right? That is another form of networking. So if you see somebody you know, say hello, check in, right? We're having a conversation. If you see someone that you don't know, go ahead and introduce yourself in the chat kind of as the meeting's going on. It's a little bit of multitasking. Um, however, it allows for us to make uh, those connections that are so important. And it's part of what we're talking about here quickly is building authentic relationships, right? So first coming in and having a plan and being able to say who we are and chat, that's part of our plan to make sure that we're interacting with the people that are there. Because I mean, raise your hand or use, you know, use the annotate button if you want, but it's so easy to come on these and not do anything, right? And hide and just sit there. And then we're not maximizing our time. So we should be really active. So first tip is have that plan, come in and be active and really think about, um, and we heard some of it in our introductions, what's yeah. my purpose? How can I present my purpose and my commitment to the other folks in this meeting? And especially with small businesses, it's, it's so easy to do that because we have so much passion for what we're doing. Um, so we're gonna talk about these four things uh, again real quick. So um, this is always a highlight. I know uh, Amanda and Vale, Brad, 
um, always say, make sure, Katie, you do this part. When we want to stand out, not only so people know who we are, um, but they can remember our name. So at Dale Carnegie, we have this process. It's called pause, part, punch that you can see here on the screen. And we're going to practice it out loud in a moment. Um, but the concept is that we allow people to soak in our name so they can remember it and we stand out a little bit more. So it goes like this. My name is, I put a pause there, Katie. Make sure I clearly say my first name and put a, a space, a part in between my first and last name. So my name is Katie Iorio. And we're gonna punch out that last part. No, and the more we do it, right, Vale? The more we do it, the easier it becomes. So for now, for fun, we're gonna practice. So I'm gonna ask everybody to come out off mute. I'll say one, two, three. And we're gonna go through this twice out loud. No one's gonna to listen to you because we're all gonna be doing our own, but it's fun to do it out loud and it makes it a real practice. Okay, so off mute if you would. And one, two, three. My, My name, name is, is Judy. 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 Helen. Iorio. Round two, ready? One, two, three. My, My name, name is, is Judy Helen. Helen. Oh, right. Give yourself a hand. Good job. <laughs> so think about that when we're introducing ourselves, whether it's virtually or in person, on the phone, right? It allows us to just absorb that, um, other people to absorb our name. And, you know, it's really about people. Um, it always is, but it seems to be more concentrated. And so to make sure that we're present and we're, we're really paying attention um, to the people that we're with and that, that we're speaking to and that we're not thinking about other things or trying to uh, use our phone to do something else while we're listening to the meeting, right? We're all guilty of that. So take that pause. Uh, we saw this, uh, this was shared with me over the weekend. I thought it was really cute. Um, you know, it's all about... Uh, building those authentic relationships. That's the purpose of networking. And Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People book really gives us the strategy to really focus on that trust and respect first. And that's what we're looking for when we're networking, that authentic um, connection. And so one of the ways that we can do that is just to really be a good conversationalist and um, you know, thinking of our COVID year, as Debbie said, <laughs> get rid of uh, 2020. Um, when we're talking to people, you know, we can use this as an opportunity to deepen the relationship. And when we do that, and 2021 comes, or we're we're at a networking event in person in the next few months, like then we can really have that common ground to build off of. So just some conversation topics especially when we're meeting new people or we're, we're looking to get to know someone better. You know, obviously our name and where we work and really focus on how do we, you know, we have that empathy. How do we connect with empathy? And so we might start asking questions about, tell me about your journey this 2020 or um, the Corona or COVID journey as some people are calling it. You know, what's it been like for you and your business? Um, how, have, how have you evolved or pivoted, right? That's a, a, a crucial point. Uh, Jaya was mentioning, right? This is the time for innovation. Um, so learning what companies have done is really interesting. And that allows us to dive into a conversation authentically, ask some questions and really find out we might learn something new. We might learn we have something in common. We might learn we can help each other or we might learn that we can refer them or connect them with somebody else, right? All of the fundamentals of networking and building relationships. Uh, as we start to transition out of that, we're, we're, where are you now? What challenges are you facing or what are you or your company looking to do next? Is a great conversation place, especially um, if we are intentionally networking or at a networking event and, and the chamber events are that purpose. Uh, and then if there's something, you know, close out the conversation, if there's something that we can add value, we might be able to help them, or maybe we're just looking forward to the, the, ne the next conversation that we're going to have. But I encourage everyone to make a next. Um, and just, you know, the, just a reminder of our communication fundamentals, right? If we just be curious and listen, 
um, we can be a good conversationalist. And it, that kind of helps us with any hesitation um, that we might have when we're focused on others instead of ourselves. Oh, I um, just wanted to add this. Uh, we're on video, right? So we're on camera. There's a few things that we can do to help make our presence a little bit stronger. Um, our cameras have, well, mine has a green dot. It's right in the center of my laptop. Yours may too. We wanna look at the camera. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, easy to look at the pictures. Our eyes are drawn to everyone's pictures when we're presenting, when we're speaking, if we're looking at the camera, uh, we're making more eye contact with people. So we're making a better, and make, making it easier for the folks listening to us. Um, we wanna make sure that our face is centered in the camera with only a little bit of space up top. If possible to reduce our background distractions. Um, Tom, my background's a mess right now as well. Uh, so that's why I'm at the Lavender Farm. Um, and there are lots of fun uh, virtual backgrounds if we just look them up. And um, smiling on camera seems to be a challenge for a lot of people. So remember to smile. So look at that camera and smile when we're speaking and keep that up camera eye level if we're able to. There are some best practices uh, for being on the camera. And then, as I mentioned, the follow-up, right? So chat with someone here today, practice that. What are we gonna do next? Connect on LinkedIn, yes, that's nice. And it's good to stay connected. Let's make it more personal. Maybe we wanna schedule a virtual coffee or just have a phone call. Uh, maybe we make a plan to meet up at a, a, a future event, but we have, now we have everyone's contact information, right? So uh, we're gonna learn more about the chamber, how we can get involved. And then as we're getting involved, put these things into practice to make those connections so we really can become part of this community and get the benefits of being a chamber member. So I'm here to help. My information's in the chat. If I can do anything to help, please let me know. And thanks for having me on the agenda appreciate what you do so much and your words of wisdom do stay with us it's very hard to be looking at that camera <laughs> rather than at your pretty face <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's it is something funny. i haven't learned to do yet but i'm working on it um next eric jacobson a man who really knows how to network and network well eric go for it i see you <laughs> thank you can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes. Great. So Eric Jacobson with IQ Nection, and we're a website design, website programming, and website marketing company. We've been in Doylestown for a little over 20 years. Um, I did want to apologize with COVID. It's been hard for me to get out to the hairdresser. So there's been a <laughs> challenge for me this year. So, but it, it's looking better for 2021. Uh, also, I wanted to point out, my cat has seen my presentation. She's not impressed, um, but we'll do our best. So I want to start off with two questions for you. These are rhetorical questions. The first thing is, what does your business do or what do you do that's remarkable? What will allow, what messaging will allow you to cut through the noise? And if you don't know what that is, I want you to take some time and think about it. What is it that you do that's remarkable? And the second thing is, what is your headline? I wanna give you an example. So we did a website for a local manufacturer and everybody see that? Yes. Okay, so yeah. this is a local manufacturer and we built the website for them. And as is typical with website customers, they then start working with the website. And in their news and highlights, they got a new piece of machinery. And what they're highlighting on the homepage of their website is all the great things that the machine does. It's all about the machine. When you click learn more on the <clears throat> internal page, it talks about why, what the headline is, it enhances quality, reduces cost, and improves efficiency. And they talk about you, the customer, because we have this machine, you're gonna benefit by a better product and it will reduce cost. 
So we recommended to them that they put the headline then at the front of the website. So that's something that they are working on. So what is your headline? I wanna talk about two other things, awareness and conversations. During, whenever you're doing networking, the persons who do the most conversations wins. The goal of all networking is to have productive conversations. So awareness, how do you help businesses solve their problems? The other part of awareness is if you're out of sight, you're out of mind. You know, we know when we don't have chamber networking events where we're visually in front of people, it's, it's harder to be top of mind. So you need to be thinking about things that you can do. Um, be seen at chamber events, events like today, uh, any virtual events. Uh, Lori had good advice about changing your Zoom title, making sure that people you know, know your name and can get in touch with you. Video is something that I think people, uh, including myself, it's, it can be challenging to do, but a great 30 second video that talks about how you're remarkable and kind of what your headlines are can be really effective. And that can be put on your website, it can be sent out in emails or your follow-up emails. Uh, LinkedIn is another great avenue for doing that. So uh, one of the things that I think is very important is to produce quality content. And I think that a lot of times I'll stop following someone in LinkedIn or social media because the content they're sharing is very much selling. So I wanna give you an example. This is, uh, we did not do this website, but we do marketing for this engineering company. They're a land use engineer. And we talked to them about creating a blog post, the 10 steps to master in the land development process. Okay, everyone can see that? Okay. What's great about this blog article is it's 10 topics, one new topic every two weeks. So it gives the audience a reason to come back to the website. These blog articles get pushed out to, link, to LinkedIn. But what's important for us to take away from this, and I had to work with the gentleman who's the president of this company, his first draft on informal site assessments was very salesy. It was about land core engineers. It was not about how they help customers. Uh, it was, but it was very salesy. We worked with him on that. And these articles now show thought leadership by Landcore. So, oops, sorry, I just let Nicole in into the meeting. The other thing that might be helpful, can everyone see this? This is, it says getting started. Okay, so something else you might wanna consider if it's all about getting conversations, on their website, they offer a free consultation. And they don't just offer that, they have three headlines, uncover deal killer issues in land use. It said, understand the likely development yield. To their audience builders, these are three headlines that are very important to them. And the other thing that they do, that Landcore does when they offer this free consultation is they talk about what to expect during the consultation. So let your audience know what to expect when they're gonna have that virtual coffee with you, when you're gonna have a conversation, that it's not gonna be you selling, it's having a discussion about how you can help them to grow their business. Because at the end of the day, that's what people wanna do. They wanna increase their revenue and grow their businesses. Just like the chamber says, our business is to help your business grow. So tell me about how you do that and show me your thought leadership. And then I'll have confidence. I'll seek you out. You don't have to seek me out and sell to me. So those are some of the takeaways for kind of networking, networking in today's environment. Thank you, Eric, so much. Really appreciate it. All righty. The next person we have is Irv Hall 
with our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. However, Irv isn't here today. So I just wanted to mention that I'm very proud that we are putting together this committee structure on this very important issue. Uh, we have met as a team with Laura Lomax, who is uh, our guidance counselor on DEI. And then we met with our co-chairs, Irv Hall and Catherine Cavella. In the end of January, in fact, Amanda, if you have the date, uh, we can put it out there. We're going to invite our entire chamber membership to see who would be interested in being on this committee. It is very interesting. It's very timely and it's very business oriented. So I just wanted to mention to you that I'm proud that we're doing this in the manner in which we are doing it. All right, chamber insurance, health insurance, a topic that I know all of you have an interest in. We're very fortunate today to have Jim Pitts with us from My Benefit Advisors. Jim, it's really good to see you. Thank you. How are you, my friend? Doing good. We're a little busy, as you could imagine. Um, yeah. December 15th is kind of a D-Day for individual insurance. And, you know, a lot of small businesses renew January 1. So um, we're busy. But really appreciate the opportunity just to say a few words. Um, we love small business. Um, as you know, we've been pretty active with the Chamber for a few years. And we're a specialty broker. I mean, we run under the brand of my benefit advisor, but we are USI Insurance. Some of you may know that name better than my benefit advisor. USI is a national broker, well over 7,000 employees, 200 offices. You know, big isn't always better as we all, we, we all know. But in this case, the resources that the national has on behalf of the chamber makes so much sense. We have things that most brokers can't give to a small business. And they, these are some of the things that we try to do to differentiate ourselves, to add value to the chamber, and obviously help and guide uh, chamber members with health insurance and other employee benefits. Our specialty is handling typically an employer that's two to 200 employees. That's kind of where we focus. And as we all know, chamber businesses are relatively small, usually under 10 employees, and that's how we build our business. Uh, we also do individual coverage, individual and family coverage. We write Medicare insurance. So we've got all bases covered and we encourage members to call us. You do not have to be a client, obviously. And even if you're not even thinking of buying from us right away, let us help and guide you, maybe validate coverage that you have. Um, we're here to service you. And I you know, just wanted to mention that, um, you know, as one of the largest writers of Blue Cross coverage in Delaware Valley, we also represent Aetna, United Healthcare, Cigna. So uh, we're able to shop the market for you. I like what Eric said when he, you know, he said, look for a headline or something to, to stand out. And I think the one thing I'd like to mention, because I hear it so often from chamber members, we have a, um, God, I hate to use the word call center because they're better than that. It's a, a sales advisor team uh, back in our offices in Bluebell, and they're there from 8.30 to 5.30 every day, and members can call there first, and we encourage it, because we answer the phone within the first couple rings. You do not have to call the insurance carrier. We're your advocate. We'll do all the work. You have a claim that there's a problem. You have a billing problem, whatever it may be. We're the service arm, and we really pride ourselves on having that available. Um, we're very responsive, so Again, I thank you for giving me a chance to do a little small commercial, love the chamber and have a great holiday. Thank you. Really good to see you. Thank you. Um, just so everyone knows, which I'm sure you do, but all of the major carriers did away with association business about, I guess, 10, 11 years ago. And Jim, you work so well with people to get them the product that they want at whatever price that they wish to spend. And that's one of the things I admire about you and the company. So anyway, thank you. Thank you. All right, Community Impact, our own Brad Sanders. Go for it, Mr. Jingle Jam. <laughs> I hope that doesn't catch on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's going virtual. <laughs> 
Mr. Jingle Jam, I like it. Um, so anyway, um, I, I kind of want to talk today a little bit about uh, the, you know, I know it's crazy with how uh, the world is right now and the chamber is uh, still, still here for everyone. Um, and even though we are uh, not 100% here, we are, are in the office, we are um, here and able to help you any, whenever you need us, uh, email, phone. Um, and so that's kind of brings us to our, uh, our event we're having on Thursday. Um, as you can see, my awesome background. And it is. Um, <laughs> uh, Evan, our intern, um, he prefers Lord Evan, but um, he he and I created this background behind us, uh, behind me here, and um, it's going to be our set for our live auction that we're having this week. Um, and the reason why we're doing an auction, uh, we have a live and a silent auction. Um, I'm putting uh, a link for some information in the chat right now. Um, is that uh, we here are trying to upgrade our technology and um, stay stay in uh, in here for uh, to, so we're able to help our uh, chamber members and our community. So um, we're raising some funds to make that happen. So uh, we had a lot of donations from chamber members, uh, a lot of great um, items. Uh, so if you check out the link I put there, uh, there's a uh, catalog of live auction items and silent auction items. Um, and then I'm also going to put in the chat a link to our silent auction. Um, and uh, you could take a, take a look at that uh, link as well. Um, we have 36 items there that are... Um, that you can bid on, just create an account and you can bid on those items. Um, if you have any questions, you, I did put my, my contact information uh, in the chat earlier. If you want to, uh, if you have any questions about getting logged in or figuring out information, um, just, just let me know um, or you can call the office. And, um, and I, don't know if, I don't know if Debbie wants to add something. She's uh, um, been really helpful with this committee um, and getting a lot of items in uh, it is going to be an event that we are going to, it's going to be more of a uh, celebration as well. Um, Debbie has created a whole bunch of virtual backgrounds for everybody to use. Um, we are going to have uh, a lot of holiday celebrations, hopefully, hopefully a signature drink uh, that Hewn is su uh, supplying us. Um, we'll start working out that de those details, but uh, Santa will be here and some of his elves maybe. Um, so, uh, just take a look, uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Debbie, I don't know if you want to add anything. Uh, yes, Brad, thank you. I just would like to add that, uh, the silent auction is going on right now, and I would love to invite all of you to please take a look at it, because it does close on Thursday, uh, just prior to our or during our live event, because we will be calling out uh, the winners uh, during our live event. So there are so many great events, uh, great items on there, a lot of wine, there's some food on there, there's um, a, a wonderful, <laughs> Brad, you're laughing. <laughs> uh, there's, wonder, there's a wonderful print on there. Um, and just so many great events. There's a centerpiece from Aldi Mansion. So please, I invite each and every one of you and tell your friends to go in and look at these items and place a bid because they're awesome. Um, I just don't want you to outbid me on some of the items <laughs> that I chose already. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, food, restaurants, all kinds of goodies, really. So Beer go appearance. to it. 
Okay, that's all I want to say, Brad. Thank Thanks, you. Guys, I've got to run, so I'm going to go off now, but I'm going to join you on Jingle Jangle. It's been wonderful seeing you all. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. To Thank you, Judy. Bye. Bye. But I love in the in the in the live auction are four golf courses where they donated foursomes. One is to the Union League's Torresdale, Doylestown Country Club, and Look Away. Do I have that right, Brad? Yep. Yes. And so, and the box club. And the club. And the box club, right? So, I mean, think yeah. about that. That's yes, awesome. it's awesome. It is. All right, Mr. Jingle Jam, <laughs> we will see you Thursday night for sure. We're gonna have fun with this. All right, I know Larry Menkes, you joined. Would you like to just give your name and the name of your business? Are you there, Larry? I get, I guess not. Larry, he, Larry, you're on mute. Technology. All righty. While he's working on that, Amanda, upcoming programs to boost your business. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm multitasking. So, um, you know, just to throw out one more thing about the Jingle Jam, um, come to network, you know, even if you're not interested That's a good in point. You know, any of the um, items, it is going to be a celebration of, you know, the holidays, getting rid of 2020, heading into 2021. And one of the things we really want to um, impress upon everybody is to still network, to still build your relationships, to still make use of all of the platforms and forums that we offer. Because um, even though we do things differently right now, you still need to build your business and you still need those relationships. So um, we just wanna remind everybody about that. Um, additionally, tomorrow, we are having something that we never offer for free, actually. We normally no. <laughs> charge $85 for this. Um, it's usually a luncheon at Barley Sheep, but tomorrow at noon, we are having um, the CEO Global Briefing, and it is featuring Steve Gallucci, um, who manages Wegmans, and is really a great speaker on vision um, your company's culture, how do you infuse that culture uh, with your associates or your um, clients, um, your customers. And even if you are a solopreneur, you can learn tips, techniques, strategies to grow your company and to make that vision permeate everything you do. So that's tomorrow at noon please feel free to sign up on the website or send us an email and we will send you the link, the Zoom link. Um, and then just one other, one other event I wanted to mention, and that is January 14th. We have at 9 a.m. our business book club. It's featuring Dr. Mark Hoffman, who heads up the uh, intermediate unit, unit um, for Bucks County. And uh, his book is Resonant Leadership, Again, even if you don't read the book, it's an opportunity to build a connection with the IU, with your fellow uh, business members and professionals. So I just encourage you to sign up and come out to our Zoom events, um, even if they seem as though they might not be something that is directly in line with your interests, check it out anyway, because it does give you a forum to build your businesses. So. That's my spiel, everybody. I'm going to remove my spotlight. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. I, I'm unmuted, I think. Larry, would you like to introduce yourself to everybody? Sure. My name is Larry Menkes. I'm the uh, founder and executive director of the Veterans Green Jobs Initiative. We find work for green work and careers for wounded warriors. I'm working with Metro Public Adjustment, which is part of our uh, they're a member, I believe, still. And what we do is free home uh, inspections of your declaration page. Most people have no idea 
what's in their insurance policy. And we do a 20 or 30 minute uh, personal inspection of your uh, declaration page. We tell you what's good about it, what's not good about it, and how to properly file a claim. Most people have no idea what's in their insurance policy. And sometimes we go into a house and there's a claim sitting right in front of our faces and the owner doesn't know it. Uh, we will give, we will donate a hundred meals to needy families for each event that we do. So if we go out to two houses, that's 200 meals. But uh, we are at this Christmas season giving a hundred meals out for every inspection. There's no cost for this, it is free. And uh, you can probably contact me through the chamber. Thank you, Larry. Before we close, I just wanna share something with you. I am very proud to say that we work very closely with the Bucks County Commissioners. Effective at 10 a.m. this morning, a truck is gonna pull up here at the chamber and deliver 100 PPE kits that are being distributed to anyone that calls and wants one for all the small businesses in Bucks County. This is a major project, but we're excited to be part of it. If you need or want one of these kits, they're about this size. They contain a clear mask, a box of masks, sanitizers, and some other things in the kit. Uh, we're trying our best to get them out. We've probably had maybe 150, 175 calls and they are going to go out from noon to three today. And then on Monday, from nine to three. So if you wish to have one, please feel free to call us. We will put your name down on the list or you can come by and pick one up. I don't know if anyone else has anything to say, but I have just, go ahead, Eric. Sorry, um, I have a recommendation for the uh, live auction process. Mm -hmm. um, who would I direct that to? Just ask Brett. Okay. I'll give Brad What's a call. your recommendation? <laughs> uh, well, it's just uh, so, something describing some of the items that aren't necessarily clear. So uh, something easy that might help. Um, we'll describe. Boost. We'll describe them during the event. Just uh, let okay. You know. Yeah, but never mind. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for the help. All right, everybody, please stay safe, be well, and please have. A happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Thank you for being here today. It's good to see everybody, even if it is by Zoom. I love to see everybody's smiling faces. Thanks for attending today. And call us if you have any questions. We're here for you. Take care, my friends. Thanks, Bye. Merry Christmas. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.